Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on C programming for beginners. In the last video, I've shown you what are arrays in C and how to use arrays in C. And I have given an example to you how to declare and use a single dimensional array. So I have shown you, you can declare an array like this uh, and array can contain more than one values of same data type in a single variable. In a similar way, if you want to declare a multi-dimensional array, you can do it like this. So this is a single dimensional array. And if you want to declare a multi-dimensional array, you can do it like this. For example, you want to declare uh, two cross three cross four, three-dimensional array. This is the declaration of three-dimensional array or if you want to declare a four dimensional array, you can do it like this. But most simplest form of multi-dimensional array is a two dimensional array. And this is how you can declare this two dimensional array, right? So this is the declaration of two dimensional array of two cross three. Here two cross three means this array if you can imagine uh, in the form of uh, uh, a square or a table, this two is like a, a row for your array and three is like a column numbers of your array. So let's see how we can initialize this array first. So you just give a bracket and the, in these two curly braces, you can declare your array. So first of all, we will define our row zero so this will be our row zero and i will move this up and row one okay so i will just define two rows first because our array contains two rows if we see this and three columns right so columns are like straight uh lines or column right so for example 1 comma 3 comma 2 are the columns of row 0 and for example 5 comma 6 comma 8 are the elements of first uh, or second row of index 1 and it has three columns like 5 6 and 7 so this is a two dimensional array and it contains two rows and three columns. How it contains two uh, rows? This is the first row. So row one of uh, or index zero, right? So index of uh, array starts from zero. So this is row one logically, but if you uh, see in terms of C, this will be row 0, right? And this will be row 1, right? Because index of the array starts from 0. And then these are the columns. So first column is for 1 and 5. And second column contains 3 and 6. And third column contains 2 and 8. Okay? Now in order to... Uh, iterate over these values you can use for loop but a single for loop uh, will not work in the case of this two dimensional array you need to use uh, two for loop so loop inside a loop to iterate all the values in this array so for iterating over these values you can do it like this so you can just write a first for loop for and then this for loop will be for the rows, okay? So I will declare a variable i or int i is equal to zero. And this will be, i will be less than two, which is number of rows, right? These are the number of rows you have, okay? And then, 
i plus plus which is our increment operator and inside this for loop we will declare one more for loop so inside this curly braces of this for loop we will declare one more for loop for columns so for int int j is equal to 0 and j should be less than the number of rows so number of rows in our case is 3 right so just write 3 here and then j plus plus okay so this is loop inside the loop to iterate the values so first loop will iterate over the rows and the second loop will iterate over the columns right now in order to print all the values inside your uh, column for loop this loop you can just write print f and the name of your array for example this one just inside the brackets just write this and then just write percentage d here and then percentage d here is equal to it should be percentage d and this should be equal to percentage d right so this will be the value of array and uh, we will also print the index of the array right so we have the here it will uh, show the row the, here it will show the column and here it will show the value right so we have uh, row here so rows are iterated by i so we'll just write i here comma the columns are iterated by j so just write j here and the values can be iterated by your array index so just write the name of your array and then the value of i which is a row indicator and value of j which is your column indicator right now i will just give this next line here so that it will iterate uh, every time in the next line okay now i will compile and run this program and it says the program contains some problem let's see what's the problem here yeah so i think this curly brace is extra here this should do right and these are rows and columns so just compile it once again and now it runs so you can see it prints the row and index of the array right so at uh, 0 0 so at 0th row and 0th column we have the value 1 which is true this is at 0th row and 0th column okay at row 0 and column 1 we have the value 3 this is right this is row 0 so row 0 is this one and column 1 so 0 and 1 so column 1 is this one value is 3 that's correct row 0 and column 2 is this one and 0 1 2 so this is the value which is 2 which is correct here now comes the row 1 which is this row value or uh, column 0 which is this value which is 5 in the same way it will print all the values of your two dimensional array so in this way you can iterate over your array using two for loop so this is a simplest kind of multi-dimensional array, array and it's called two dimensional array in a similar way if you want to uh, declare some other array two dimensional array with some uh, other dimension you can do it like this for example your uh, array must contain three rows you can just do it like this so row one we have zero and one we have and we will just write the row third or by index it's row two right and this is row two okay 
so you can do it like this so i hope you have understood the basic concept of multi-dimensional arrays and i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now